So, someone commented, I don't agree. It's okay to eat meat. It's just all our meat is processed. That's where the problem is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The other day I walked up a mountain. Well, it was about a good two, about a month and a half ago. I walked up a mountain. It was really a mud hill. That's what I call them. Some of these mountains, the mountains are giant tree stumps. So some of these hills that's not giant tree stumps, they actually um, are pyramid mounts or giant, literally giant leaves. Some of them are giant cities that connect to each other. They just covered it all in dirt and these entities live there. Nonetheless, I walked up one of these hills and I got to the top of it. But on my way there, I felt a look, a piercing look, and my telepathy started kicking in. Hey, what are you doing here, said the mountain lion, and I replied telepathically, ah shit, I don't want no trouble. I just want to keep going up this mountain-like area, get some sun, meditate, sun gaze. That's about it. Oh, said the mountain lion. You're the one that be cleaning up the sky. I'll let you pass. Don't stay here at nighttime, though. All right, cool. I'll be gone. <laughs> I will be gone because that's that mountain's lion territory. You know, or cougar, or whatever you want to call it. I didn't even look at it directly. Yet, we had this conversation all within our, all within my head. But I knew that this mountain lion was staring at me, or cougar, or whatever. It was staring at me, and I say, you know what? I don't see it, but I can feel it. And it's talking to me. I'm just going to stay in my path. I'm just going to continue what I'm doing. I'm not going to bother it. I'm not going to send it any type of negative energy. Now, that conversation could have went very south. Like, oh, what are you doing here? You know what? It wouldn't even ask that question. It would just say, oh, a meat eater. I could smell it from a mile away. Yeah, let's kill that motherfucker. <laughs> so, um, I'm about to get really deep into this conversation right here. Eating meat. The animals that, you know, when you eat meat, animals could smell that, oh shit. Hey yo, that's that motherfucker that ate Cuzzo. Oh, they ate Cuzzo? Yeah. I can smell it off him. Ah, right, yeah, let's take that motherfucker out. Why you think sharks be eating people? Sharks. Sharks do not eat people, actually. So I contradicted myself. Sharks don't eat people. Sharks are very in tune with nature. Why? Because they live in water. So when a shark see, sharks normally attack surfers. Why? Because they think the surface on the surfboard is an actual seal. Not only that, they just bite the arm off, arm off and then be like, Ugh, a human being? Y'all taste nasty as shit. Ugh, God, y'all taste nasty as shit. You know, not discriminating. Because sharks, the eyes are fucking like that. Why is sharks' eyes like that? That's a different topic. You know, that's a totally different topic. But... Saying sharks smell blood, they think that blood is uh somebody one um they think that blood is they prey, but when they actually taste that blood, it's like ew, you're disgusted. But if you eat a lot of fucking fish which contains mercury in it, the fish they make now, you know, no <laughs> fish they make now. That's crazy. A lot of these fishes and birds are artificial, like biomechanical so these biomechanical fishes that we eat these salmons and all that shit some of these fish has been pumped with mercury so if you go ahead and jump in the water if you want to on an all fish diet go ahead and cut your finger a shark is gonna come out of nowhere and tear your ass up apart tear your ass apart why because the shark is like oh i can smell my family inside of your body these animals be like oh we can smell our family inside of your body you know, that's why dogs man best friend because a doggy dog world, you know. So some of these animals, y'all literally feed them these. That's why they made animals become cannibals. So these animals want to attack you guys in nature, right? 
because you the animals could smell that shit off you. You know, eating meat. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Bam. Meat is not supposed to be eaten. You're not supposed to die in this realm to begin with. Look at the movie John Carter. When he went to Mars. And he came back from Mars. Like weeks or months later. The other guy. Confederate guy that was chasing him. You know. He was shot up. And he was all skeleton. But John Carter. His body was all stiff. Like rigor mor- like he was breaking through rigor mortis. Or something like that. You know. That right there. And they always show you. Our stuff in their image. His body broke for the rigor mortis. Where was he? He was in the cave telling you that these entities came from the cave. Now, how would it be if it was a god or a goddess? Well, basically, they'll be in Kimmet. And they'll show you how to preserve the body to wrap it up. And the guy, he was reading some hieroglyphics off the cave wall. But we have hieroglyphics in stone that we created. You know, so basically what I'm saying is you're not supposed to die. Your consciousness just gets transferred from... One vessel to another vessel. You don't really die. Your consciousness goes from one vessel to another vessel. From one dimension to another dimension. One planet to another planet. Whatever you want to call it. And your body is supposed to be preserved. Because your body could come back into this vessel. You know. Kind of like what they said of Hellboy 2 or 3. They said giants don't really die. They just go to sleep and they come back. You know. So... If the planet is vibrating extremely high and we just say, okay, I'm about to go to um, Neptune. You want to meet me there? All right. All right, everybody. We're going, we got a mission in Neptune. Let's meet us there. And, uh, you know, we just take a nap. Our body's preserved. We stay on Neptune for five years and we come back. Okay, guys, the mission on Neptune went great. We just came back. All our bodies preserved. We all look the same. We all look young. All right, great. Awesome. But... When they classify people as dead, you know, the spirit lives the body. If this plan was vibrating really fucking high, do you know how hard it would be to kill somebody? You could literally cut your hands with a knife. If the giant tree still existed, you could literally cut yourself with a knife and your hand will instantly be healed. You could smoke cigarettes all day and run for fucking 100 miles and not get winded. With the giant trees. So... What does all this have to do with me? These entities, these parasite, parasitical invaders, some of them are your ancestors. You're probably a hybrid. You don't even realize it. But, um, yeah, the person in the comment is a hybrid and you don't even realize it. But, uh, anyways, that's what I was talking to. Anyways, um, stay focused. Anyways, the meat we eat. I traveled from California to upstate New York, upstate New York, back to California. There is not enough meat to feed everybody. So the meat is processed at the same time. You literally eat human meat and you, you, you are what you eat. So sad. So not only that, the meat is not supposed to be eaten. This is like, you know, ah. <sighs> We need to be gods and goddesses, immortal. I remember time before time even existed. I remember this place before time existed. And by us participating in this fucking fake Jewish bullshit, because that's where all this shit came from, from the fake fucking big nose fucking Jews. We participated in this shit and we fell under the fucking curse. I was fucking immortal. Until I ate meat. And then I fucking lost all my divinity. There's fucking scriptures and shit that describe what the fuck I'm talking about. Everything is different so I'm rising up in frequency. But when we participate in eating the flesh of a divine being. You're going to lose your fucking spiritual power. When you eat meat. Nature's like, man, fuck out of here. You, nigga, that nigga eating us, dog. Nah, that nigga gotta go. Nigga, cracker, whatever you want to call it. Jap, whatever that fucking racist term, whatever that sh- that motherfucker gotta go. Fuck you eating meat for. Fuck you eating life for. You, you, you want to destroy life and eat it? Nah, dog. Nah, man. Fuck out of here, that bullshit. Uh, clearly, the person in the comment has been programmed, but I'm speaking to... That energy went out to the general masses to shock y'all fucking brain. So y'all don't be eating meat like that because you're not supposed to do that. Ten minutes is not enough to explain the significance of what I just said. But-